What is going on today? We are going to be looking at IoT sensors and how we're going to use the Photon particle board to send data <clears throat> to the cloud with Azure IoT Hub. So Photon makes things really easy because they've got built-in integrations right into their dashboard. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to jump to the, the board itself. We're going to talk about the sensor and then we're going to jump to the computer and actually kind of hook up all the, the plumbing of the data. All right, so this is the Photon board itself and these three wires go to this cup of soil. And basically this is a soil moisture sensor, soil mo moisture. So this is really good for like ag tech, any kind of agriculture. Um, so, so we're gonna stick this in here. And when I first got into electronics, I was like, oh, okay, two wires makes perfect sense, but three wires kind of freaks me out. What's going on with this? But don't let it intimidate you. So this red wire here, that's the positive. And we have three volts coming from this pin and how these breadboards work is anything running this way is going to be voltage from that pin. So we got three volts, then this black wire here goes to ground, and that makes perfect sense, but then here is the analog pin. Let me see if I can get you a pointer finger here. That's the analog pin. And basically, how all this, how all this stuff works is the analog, think, so we're going to, back up a little bit, digital versus analog, just basic, basic electronics. Digital, the pin is either going to be on or off, super easy. Analog, you can think of it, it's more variable. So we are starting from 3.3 volts. It can go anywhere in a range from 0 to 3.3 volts. So 0 could be 1.5 volts, 0.75 volts, um, anywhere in that range, and it's based on the sensor. So um, with this moisture sensor, if it's very wet, you're gonna have the full voltage, 3.3 volts that's coming out of that pin. If it's gonna be very dry, it's gonna be zero volts. And then you can calibrate that, say, hey, we need to water our plants if the voltage drops below two volts. Then you know, and there's, there's, there's all kinds of calibration, but we're not gonna get into calibration today. So let's look at the board one more time and we're gonna jump to the computer. All right, just quick overview. We got three wires. And this, this board is connected through Wi-Fi and it can also work with cellular connections. So if you have this board like in a field somewhere, um, that definitely works. Red wire connects 3.3 3 volts. Black wire is ground. And these, I'm gonna try to get in a little close. I don't know if you can see that, but basically there's about six, six a, 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 whenever you see A on the pin, that's an analog. And if you see D on the left side, these are all digital. So inputs, outputs. So, that is basically it. Oh, I want to show you one more thing while we're here. This is kind of the end result we're going to get. Here we go. So, we can see it says uh, we have an origin, which is a device ID, and data right there. 3201, 3203. Um, that is going to be the sensor data that we can use for graphing. Or let's look at, like, pretend like some use cases, because the why is always more important than what we're doing. So. Say you have a field and you want to get alerted when the soil moisture drops below 20%, something like that. You can put these little sensors all throughout your field. Say you got 500, 5,000, 10,000 acres. You can put little sensors around and you can get data telemetry and really manage that whole operation. All right, let's jump to the computer and start plumbing some data. All right, so here we are. Um, we are at the the particle build dashboard, and this is the code um, for for sending data to Azure, basically. And it's, it's gonna be some simple C code. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to a GitHub repository with all of this. Um, but basically, the magic happens within this loop. So don't don't necessarily look. I've got some other code in here as well. This, um, this is for a full dashboard that toggles on the digital pins as well as reading analog. But we're just going to be looking at the analog. So we're getting, we're doing an analog read on pin A0. So that's what that pin in the upper right that I was showing, that's the analog pin. Um, so we're going to stringify that value. Basically, we're going to turn that into a string. And then we're going to do something called a particle.publish. So all of these devices, they work by publishing and subscribing to messages. So basically here, we're just going to say, we're going to publish a, a message of type soil and it's going to have the value of that pin. And then it's going to do a delay of this. So it's going to do it every minute. We're going to be sending data to 
um, Azure IoT Hub. So um, just just to get you guys familiar, I have already um, set up this device. It's called Bobbert. So <laughs> cracks me up every time, Bobbert. Uh, my name is Robert, so we call it Bobbert. Um, so that's our Photon device, and we've got this code already flashed. And like I said, we, we saw the board. Now we're going to actually come to the console, and I'm going to show you why I absolutely love Particle and the Photon device. Um, so here we're going to do, we're going to come to, where's the console at? Console. Click on console. And this is going to be, we're on the events tab. Uh, this is going to be where all of the events come in. So let's, we're going to wait. I don't want to wait too long, but every, every 60 seconds we're going to get an event actually to this particle dashboard. Um, let's see. I don't want to wait too long. All right, let's let's go ahead. We're going to come back to this and um, we'll, we'll see. But just take my word that when you have all this set up, uh, basically events are going to be – actually, let's do this. Let's duplicate this tab. So as events come through, we'll come back to it and we'll see, boom. Oh, here's an event come through. So there's the name of the event is soil. The data is three. So this is in millivolts. So you got volts. So 1,000 millivolts equals one volt. So 3,024 millivolts, device Bobbert, and that's published. So we're going to keep this open and we're going to go to the integration tab here. Now this is why Particle makes things so easy for you. So we're going to click integration, and you can do a Google Maps integration. So it already has um, GPS data that you can do, like, all kinds of cool geo geolocation stuff, and we'll have more videos on that later. But today we're going to do the Azure IoT Hub integration. So go ahead and click that. And it has a little bit of setup required. So basically we've got to sign in. We're going to have – so this is assuming you're going to create an account. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my Azure account. So here, here we're at Azure. And what we're going to do, it says – Sign in, create an IoT hub, add shared access policy. Very easy. Type in the service. We're going to go IoT. IoT hubs. And we can also do this from the Azure command line, but we're going to do it through the portal today. Um, so I got my subscription, my dev test. Um, let's go ahead and choose. We'll leave West US. That's okay, but choose your region. Um, and the IoT hub, we're going to say particle testing. Basically, just whatever you want in there. Um, and now we're going to go to our size. Let's see here. Um, you got the standard standard tier. These are all paid, but they have a free tier. That's like 88,000 messages per day. So that, that's as you're testing, it's awesome. They offer that. Um, let's see. I'm seeing some strangeness here. Oh, cancel this. There we go. Okay, had a little bit minified. So here's the number of through, throughputs, the units. We're just going to have one. Um, review and create. Free tier. Create this guy. So now we're creating our IoT hub. Okay. This thing is working on the deployment. And let's go ahead and while it's doing its thing, let's go ahead and look and see. Sure enough, every minute we have more sensor data. Um, I'm going to actually pull this sensor out. So here's, I don't know if you can see this, air sensor. I pulled it out. Um, so we're going to see some of the numbers that now it's in the 3,000 millivolts. We'll see some stuff go back down low because there's going to be no, just moisture from the air. It's not a lot. Okay. Let's see. Deploying. Okay, I'm probably going to fast forward through all this stuff. Dashboard. Hit refresh. Sometimes it'll take a bit. IoT Hub, we are good to go. West US. Um, so come down here, create an IoT. We've done this step, create an Azure IoT. Now we need to add the shared access policy, and you can, they've got super awesome instructions. You can like open up all this stuff and see what's going on. So we're going to come down here, shared access policy, shared access policy. Um, it's not an active state. They'll go away later. So we're going to add a policy. We're going to give it re read, write, connect, de um, device connecting, service connecting, and we're going to name it. We'll name it the soil sensor. One, two, three. I think you can't. Maybe you can't have these.
Mm, what's going on here? Some Bobbert soil. Mm, it's not liking this. Let's see. Let me move this guy. Sometimes. Let's see. Okay. Might have to do with this. It says your this thing IoT is not in an active state. I've been getting this message. Uh, maybe if I I think it's like not quite provisioned, so it's a little early. So maybe I hit refresh and it'll go away. Still not liking that actually. I'm um, getting keys. It looks like all kinds of stuff's going down here. Activity log. I had this happen. I think it was. It just took like five minutes. All right, so I'm gonna rewind it. We'll be back once it's up. Okay, we're back. So it was exactly that. Um, this status here when we're in the overview, it said activating, and now it's active. So we're good to go once it's active. Just takes like three minutes. So um, over here. The next step we need to do is we need to add our shared access policy. So we're going to come down here. Um, let's see. Shared access policy. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new policy. Um, policy name, we're going to say soil bobbert. Yeah, we'll just say soil. Um, and we're going to give it read, write, service connect, and server and device connect. So it's going to allow that device to connect. Um, like I said, I'm kind of new at all this, so I'm not necessarily sure what like service connect, what these individually means. The read, write, that's super obvious. Um, they got this nice. Um, okay, nice. So you can click these things. Device side endpoints. Okay. Basically, so you can read into that more, look into that a little bit more. Um, so I want to make sure, so I got my face kind of in the way here. I'm going to move this over okay so you can see we've got our access policy name we've got our primary key here so let's see basically we did all the steps so we're gonna click this blue button on the particle dashboard I've done all these things so the event the event name is going to be soil and that needs to match up with the event name we have in our code here is soil in our C code um, IoT Hub name, we're going to grab that. That is going to be particle testing. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this guy here. Shared policy name, that is going to be here, right here. Access policy name, more copying. Mm, whoop, what the hell? Rogue copy soil. And there's a shared, shared access key. Um, like I said, my face is in the way, so I'm going to move it over here. Boom, right there, primary key, copy to clipboard, and put that guy in there. So here you can choose, if you have many, many of these little photon devices, you can choose any of them, and it's going to all send all their devices there. Or you could just choose the individual device you want. Um, so we're going to just choose Bobbert for now. Click on Enable Integration. And what we're going to do... Is successfully created. Come back to integration. You can see here. Let's see. And so now we should have this guy pumping data to any. T so basically, what's going to happen anytime an event happens here, <clears throat> it's going to send that off to Azure. Um, so let's see. That's weird. Normally, there must be something funky going on here because normally what you would see is like a, a button to test your integration. Okay, there we go. So we got this, success, and then if we go to our overview over here in Azure, you can see here device twin operation. So basically a device twin in IoT Hub speak is uh, the virtual representation of the actual board <clears throat> here. So you can see we've got data here, and one of the ways that we're going to actually see this data coming through is we're going to use the Azure CLI. So I already canceled out this. I had some stuff going on. Um, basically, let me make sure I don't have any, hopefully I don't have anything sensitive on this thing. Access token. Uh, this I will delete this and refresh that. I don't want you seeing that, but basically. So the Azure CLI gives you this 
awesome these awesome tools to integrate with different their different services. So we're gonna use the IoT Hub monitor events thing tool, I guess. I don't know. Uh, basically particle tests so here IoT hub monitor events and I'm gonna leave uh, links in the descriptions to all the documentation um, the name of this is gonna be particle testing hit enter so once this goes it's gonna be reading all these events and then the cool thing about this is once you're in the Azure ecosystem now you can do all kinds of cool things with this you can use Azure functions you can use Power BI um, all kinds of stuff you can store them in Cosmos, table storage, anywhere you want to store it, you can do that stuff. And you can do these, you can trigger workflows with logic apps, which is allows you to do very, very powerful things without code. Use there's they have all kinds of integrations. And like I said, I'm gonna do more videos on these um, later. So this is just getting data from the photon board to the particle dashboard to Azure. So kind of like literally like plumbing kind of thing. Okay, so this is monitoring. Um, I want to see. Okay, there we go. We got some data. Uh, no, we did not. This is earlier data. Hoping it happens every once a minute. So I want to. I wanted to see. There we go. Boom. We saw some data come through. And like I said, let me see if I can data two. And that's because. So that's two two millivolts so it's basically zero and that's because if you see here i don't know if you can see this i pulled this out of the soil so if i stick it back into the soil the next time it reads it's going to read something like two or three thousand and that's really where you can create like azure functions to say hey if my data gets or if my soil gets below 20 percent moisture uh raise an alert and very cool what you can do then is this is all message based you can publish a message to say turn on your irrigation system so you can have it fully managed by data once the soil moisture goes down to a certain level you turn on your more your irrigation until your soil moisture goes up to a certain level so you can keep your soil in this perfect perfect level so not only can you use it for past reporting say hey i had a great crop yield this year what did my soil look like you can say hey i want the moisture at this point always um, and that's just with a moisture sensor we have all kinds of things like light sensors and, and there are just countless countless sensors uh, that you can do so that is about it um i'm gonna the shrink this we're gonna go through the whole loop just just high level and we'll look at our, our other data so basically particle co code the, the the meat of the code here is in this loop um, we're just basically doing an analog read on pin zero and said there's six pins so you can have different sensors or you can have lots of different moisture sensors. Um, we're gonna do a particle publish soil and really for clean code or it's, it's soil moisture. So that's something. Um, and we're gonna do that every 60 seconds or every, yeah, every 60 seconds. Um, and basically if you wanna do it more or less, you can, um, you can adjust that. Um, let's see. And then what you do, you come to your console and this is where we have our integration set up and basically all we did we click this got a new integration you've got webhooks it's take a look because I mean, you can use the google cloud platform instead of azure if you want all kinds of cool stuff um in here you can see shit, i'm going to delete this policy so don't don't no hackers out there trying to mess with my iot devices uh here's these guys cancel we can see device stuff coming through. In Azure, we have our IoT hub, and that's about it. That's as simple as it is. Um, <clears throat> okay, here we can see we got two other data that came through. Um, so when the device was out, it was two millivolts, so very, basically nothing. I stuck the sensor back in, and now we're at 3,000. So that is how those soil sensors work. I'm gonna make more videos on how we configure all this stuff uh, later, so stay tuned. See you.